This is Cairn Toll. She's a lovely 57 foot narrowboat, semi traditional stern, built in 2011. She's only 10 years old. Built by MD Narrowboats and fitted out by David Perry. She's in really lovely condition. She had a full repaint at Blizworth Tunnel Narrowboats in 2019. The new Cratch cover and the new Tonneau in the same year for the semi trad deck, the cover there. She was last blacked in 2019. She had four new anodes put on her at the time. Engine was serviced last in June 2021, but she's not been used a lot since for obvious reasons. You see a mirror finish on the paintwork there. You can see company yacht in the reflection. She had a full survey in 2014. That is available for inspection. That's the new Cratch cover I talked about. Lovely bows. Beautiful shape, I think. The well deck itself is four feet long. Storage under these benches. Glazed Cratch board. That makes it nice and light in here. I think the name of the boat gives away the passion of the current owners. It's the fourth highest mountain in certainly Scotland, I think the UK actually. All right, let's have a look inside. She's fitted out an ash face ply with ash trim. Lovely woodwork. The saloon itself is 12 feet 8 inches long. There's an L shaped dinette here that turns into a spare double berth. There is a, a full length table for that L shaped dinette. The stove itself is more so squirrel. Storage under the steps here. You can see the stereo there. That's a Sony DAB car stereo. The speakers in the saloon, dinette, and the bedroom actually. Cupboards and shelves. The floor itself is engineered oak throughout the boat, apart from the bathroom, which is tiled. Storage under that couch, obviously. Lovely radiator. There are two radiators on board, one tower roll. They're heated by an Eberspacker diesel fired central heating system. Head height on the boat, six foot three. The galley is nine foot eight inches long, so plenty of space in here. That's the view down from the end of the galley, the aft end. Let's have a look through. Plenty of storage. Bank of three drawers here. It's quite a deep one, that middle one. As is the bottom, the cupboards under the stainless steel sink. The worktops are solid oak, nice little glasses cupboard over the worktop here, or the sink rather. It's a double sink, you probably noticed that. A bit useful pulley out cupboard thing. The cooker itself. The Thetford Caprice Mark III, full burner gas hob oven and grill. Side hatch here. You can see that microwave, that's a sharp microwave oven. And the fridge itself, it's a 12 volt fridge master with a, an ice box in there. So that's the galley. There is space in these cupboards in here for a washing machine if you wanted one fitting. There isn't currently one on board, but there's space. The bathroom itself is lovely, seven foot three inches long, so plenty of room. It's a Thetford cassette, the loo, there's a spare cassette on board. That wash basin's marble. It's quite useful cupboard space under, under the basin. The quadrant shower. That's tiled, and there's the tower rail that I mentioned. It's quite useful linen shelves between the shower and the cabin sides there. And into the bedroom at the back, seven foot, sorry, ten foot six inches long. The bed itself extends to four foot six wide. It's six foot two inches long. The mattress was new in 2019. Another radiator in here. There is storage under the bed. Cupboards over. 
<laughs> this is ingenious. I love it. It's a little shelf for putting your tea or coffees on in the morning. By day, it stalls up there. And then when you want to drop it down, the current owner installed that. Very clever. I suppose it doesn't have to be teas or coffees. It could be a laptop or whatever, really. Cupboards either side of the steps. Very good size wardrobe. And a shelf above that. Storage under the steps as well. Plenty of storage on this boat. And there's a view down the bedroom. All right, we go on to the semi trap deck. semi and 57 foot. There's a lot of people looking for these. She's a go anywhere size, of course. The engine's in here. It's nice, usually 42. It's 1300 hours on the engine. It's not that many at all, really. The batteries are in there. There's four domestics. They were brand new in 2016. 110 amp hours. One starter battery as well. There was a Merlin smart gauge fitted for the batteries. Ever so clean in there. Storage under the lockers either side here. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. So another walk back through. There is a galvanic isolator on board. 230 volts. It's from the Sterling Pro Combi 2.5 kilowatt inverter. All the lighting is LED. The water tank is stainless steel and hot water is heated by the engine. The Eberspacken is also an immersion heater fitted. She comes with all the necessary navigation equipment to just turn the key and go, to be honest. Really lovely boat, ever so well looked after. Fabulous condition. So that's Ken Toll. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.